it's like it's a it's a love hate relationship with competition. I love, I love what comes from doing competitions. You know, like the amazing experiences, the shared like camaraderie that yeah. you, when you're going through it with other people, the connection, the, the the memories, and of course like the lessons. You know, when you're doing something really hard in anything in life, yeah. that it just provides a really amazing opportunity for learning. And so I love what comes from competition. But the actual like competition itself, there's a lot of shit things that come with competition. There's like, yeah. there's like the sleepless nights. There's like the crippling anxiety. The like the mental battles that you're having, you know, in the lead up to competition. Then there's like the pain and discomfort. There's like the injuries that often come, like the injuries and pain and like the lack of health that yeah. normally comes with competitions, because you're basically just in survival mode, right? Yeah. All that stuff I don't like, and it's like if I'm honest. Right. I love, again, I love the the outcome and the result, which makes the process totally worthwhile. But I can't say that I love it when I'm in the process. Right. Most of the time when I'm leading to a comp, I just want to like get the comp going. Mm. I want to do yeah. it now. Yeah. Um, and like having to go through the hard stuff, I don't like. And I think that's typically why as I've gotten older in the sport of CrossFit, <clears throat> I have probably not set myself up for success as much as I used to. Because in the pre-competition phases where I should be doing hard training to replicate the competition, mm. I'm just not willing to do it. Mm. It's, 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 part, it's kind of like the competition doesn't mean enough to me anymore or I'm willing to sacrifice Other a lot of areas in yeah. my life in the pre-competition phase. So instead, I'll kind of just coast through a pre-competition phase. I'll make sure that I'm like ticking the boxes and doing a bit of intensity here and there, exposing myself to all the movements. But really, I'm kind of like... I'm very aware that when the, the competition starts, it's going to be a lot more intensity than I've been used to. And there's obviously good, there's bad things that come with that, right? It means yeah. that like my body gets massively shocked and then I'm a mess for like a <laughs> two week, months, sometimes two months, after. months in, you know, in the wake of it. <clears throat> it means that I'm not that aware of where my capacity is, you know, because I haven't been mm. pushing training hard, I get into a comp and, and it means I'll normally undercook it, right? Yeah. I'll underperform and, and have lots left in the tank just because I haven't, yeah. I don't know where my limits are because I haven't pushed myself hard enough or I could get it horribly wrong, which I don't normally do. Yeah. But I could just go way too hard because, you know, my perception of what I'm capable of is skewed and I think I can mm. do way more than I can. So obviously those are things I'm well aware of and I kind of accept Okay, Ed, I you know you're being a bit of a pussy right now and you know you probably should be going harder if you want to set yourself up for success in and after the competition. However, you're not willing to do it, so yeah. you've got to have to embrace that when it comes. Yeah, though I think the way I see, um, I guess, the pre-competition phase is like delayed gratification towards the big event. Yeah. And um, I'm all for delayed gratification and just like going through the process and enjoying it while I can. Um, and obviously, I'm just grateful that I can do what I can do. And, you know, even with the pre-competition phase, you're still progressing and getting better. Um, it's just that you get to try to showcase it on a bigger stage during the comp. But at the end of the day, I enjoy the pre-competition phase as well because mm -hmm. at the, the bottom line is you're a better version of who you were the previous day. Um, just with your regular training. It's just that that gets magnified um, or there are more opportunities to learn and grow in the competition um, phase. Yeah. Because you, you don't have a choice. You're going to have wins and lessons and 